So in this session I will show you how to create scratches using the Voronoi and the difference between two Voronois. So I start directly by Shift A and the texture and it will be the Voronoi texture. And then I copy that one, so I press Shift D, so I have two of them. And I copy again, so I have three of them. And then I think I will connect the scale to the same parameter, so I press Shift A take an input and uh, I take the value because then I can uh, use the value for the same scale for each of these so I just put that into scale and I put that into scale on the last one as well so we have that on one place here and then I just put that to like 5 or something so we have a scale and I can also change the uh, label on that one so we know that it's a scale we are talking about. So now we have three Vornoi, so what should we do with those? Well, as I said, I would like to know the difference between them, because the difference will create those uh, scratches that I would like to have. So I will add a math right here, so I press Shift A, and I take a converter and a math node. And what I will use now is the color here. So if I just take the color right into the base color, this is how it looks. And it looks the same on all these three right now. But what I will do is that I will use one of those and just turn the coordinates a tiny bit and then I get the difference between them. So right now I will use the color and be sure that you're using the color and not the distance and the color from here and I will use the difference between them so I use a subtract for that one so now I will take that one and that one and subtract and right now the result will be zero for all of them and I will also add a color ramp in here so I can control the lines a bit so I press shift a converter and a color ramp and I put that in here and one to the base color. So now I have everything. And as you can see, uh, the cube is black because the value out here is zero. Now I will do what I said before, uh, some changes on this Voronoi here. So what I will do is put in a texture coordinate using the input. So I press Shift A, go to input and texture coordinate. And then I will use a mapping vector to be able to change this one. So Shift A again, and then I go to vector and mapping. So I have something there. And I connect one of those to the generator directly, like this. And then the other one I connect to uh, the vector first, and then also mapping generated mapping and then I take the vector from this to the Voronoi texture and I can do that on the last one as well and I will go through that one later what we should use it for but right now we concentrate on these two. So uh, still it's black but what I will do now is just rotate one of these a tiny bit and as you can see directly we get the scratches in here and the nice thing with this method is that the scratches ends so we have a beginning and we have an end on each of those scratches and you can decide how much scratches you would like to have and in what direction by changing these rotation just a tiny bit so that can be really nice to work with so in practice we, we are like finished now with with the, the main thing here using the subtract to getting the difference and then we can control it how much we would like to have using the color ramp here so uh, what i will do next is more using the knowledge that we had from the previous session meaning that i will use this for an architecture here to connect that to the linear light to control so we get a fading on each of these edges in a nice way. So what I will do here is add a color. So press Shift A, 
color and a mix RGB into this one and I take the change this from F1 to distant to edge so if I just take it to the base color you can see how it looks I get all of these things here and they matches very well the lines that I have here so uh, everything is just the same but if I now change this to uh, linear light like this then I can control everything I think I can take this to the base color so we can see again and now you can see one tiny little line here and if I now change linear light you have nothing and if I put it to zero you have a lot so you can control how much you would like to have with that and when I use the distance to edge you have some fading into that so that means that we can have some fading into these it depends of course how much you have turned these so if you turn them more you get broader lines and then you can get more visible or less visible depending on the linear light here then we also needed those uh, extra bumps or noise around this and that is exactly as the previous session that you add a mask grave. So I press shift A again, go to texture and here I have the mask grave and I can connect that to the last mapping vector here as well and then I just compare those two on the same way. So I can take that and just press shift D to copy it and put that in here so we have two of them. And then I just change the scale and so on on these. So I take up the de detail a bit. And as you can see, we ha now have the mask gray on the lines here. So where we have black here, there are no mask gray and there are no lines. Then I just change the dimension, take that down a bit. And I take up the lacunarity so we get the uh, get these small tiny bumps here or the small small tiny uh, noise things here and then I can control that in the same way as I did before so I can just add a few like this and then we have the last thing and that is to uh, make this non straight and if you remember it's for me to just add some distraction here so I press shift A and then I go to convert uh, and add a vector math here that I can use and be sure to use that before you connect anything else. So this will be first and then you will have some type of noise here and to be able to connect that to those three you need a combine. So shift A converter uh, and then you have the combine XYZ that you can put in here and that means that I now can add noise or whatever I would like to in each axis as uh, I love to do. So then I just put in texture and can take noise if I can find it there. And if I put it straight in here, it's getting this weird pattern. So perhaps I multiply it to decrease the strength of it. So shift A and then I go to converter and math here and put in the multiply and a very low number so we get some strength, uh, get some uh, less uh, power from the noise here. So uh, let's see. Now we have scratches, a few of them. Uh, we have, they are not straight, and we have some noise around the scratches. So uh, looks really nice. And then it's just as I also did the last time to just use this as a mask. So you put in a color mix here, pressing Shift A, uh, then you use color mix RGB, put this into factor since it should be uh, for um, masking. And then you have the paint here, and then you have the uh, scratches down here, and then you can add a bump as well as I did. also did. So shift A, vector, bump, put in the normal here, take the color from this into the height and 
perhaps decrease the strength just a bit so we don't get too much of a shadow here. So uh, that is how you do it by using uh, Voronoi and the subtract. So this is the clue for this session. Two Voronoi textures using column both and then subtract the difference and the difference you change by just changing using a mapping coordinate. So now you know three different ways to add scratches and uh, I will continue to add videos as soon as I get some idea of what you should learn more. So I will see you later and bye for now.